Throughout history, humans have viewed sheep as simple, docile, and unintelligent creatures. They're seen as symbols of obedience, meekness, and conformity. But is this perception actually accurate? In this video, we're taking a deep dive into the science and learning about the surprising intelligence of sheep. This video is in collaboration with Mickey Pardo, so check out his channel after you watch this. But why should we care about sheep in the first place? Let's get to know them before we dive into the research. We can start with Sammy, who lives at Rescued Friends Sanctuary in Fort Collins, Colorado. Sammy's rescue story is a beautiful example of how animals can sense each other's pain. One day, a woman named Lisa was hiking with her dog through Sammy's pasture to spread the ashes of her other dog who had recently died. The farmer offered to take Lisa to see his animals, but she didn't want to because she knew they were destined for the slaughterhouse and seeing them would make her sad. However, Lisa's dog had other plans. He took off running toward the sheep and most of them retreated in fear. But Sammy stayed behind and began nuzzling with him through the fence. It was almost like Sammy knew that he could help her. Lisa took this as a sign that her dog was leading her toward an animal who needed help. So she persuaded the farmer to let her rescue Sammy, who she named after her dead dog. Although Sammy was found in a nice pasture, she would have gone to a feedlot to be fattened up and sold to a slaughterhouse. Thanks to Lisa and her dog, Sammy now has a second shot at life. What made Sammy connect with Lisa's dog instead of retreating in fear? Did she sense that he may have been able to help her? It sounds like a crazy idea, but sheep are a lot more intelligent than people think. You don't have to take my word for it though. I'll let you hear from Dr. Mickey Pardo. Sheep form deep social bonds with one another, and this has led them to evolve some pretty sophisticated abilities for navigating the complexities of social life. For example, just like humans, Sheep's brains are specially adapted to be exceptionally good at recognizing faces. They have to be, because sheep have different relationships with different members of their flock, so they have to be able to tell who's who. Not only do they recognize other sheep in real life, but they can recognize them in photos too. In one experiment, researchers trained sheep to discriminate between front view photographs of two other sheep that they had never seen before. Then the researchers showed the sheep new photos of the same individuals, but this time the photos were taken from a side view angle and the sheep were able to still tell them apart with no further training. Not only that, but when sheep were trained to recognize the faces of three-month-old lambs, they could still tell who was who when shown photos of the same lambs at one month of age, even though sheep are considerably bigger and have a lot more wool on their face at three months compared to one month. In another experiment, scientists trained sheep to discriminate 25 different pairs of sheep faces in photos. Then they showed the sheep the same faces two years later, and they still recognized them. That showed the sheep can recognize at least 50 other sheep faces and remember them for at least two years. Sheep also have impressive learning abilities in other areas. In one study, researchers fed sheep three different types of toxin-laced foods that made them feel sick in different ways. They also gave them three different types of medicine each of which alleviated the symptoms caused by one of the types of food. The sheep learned which medicine was appropriate for each type of symptom. And afterward, they figured out how to self-medicate. Contrary to what you might imagine, grazing animals like sheep don't just mindlessly eat plants as if they're all the same. They are actually very selective about which plants they eat and have a surprisingly sophisticated understanding of plant taxonomy. Not only can they discriminate between different plants at the species level, but they also understand that two different species of plants from the same family are more similar than two species of plants from different families. Sheep are remarkably sensitive and extremely emotionally complex. For example, they form expectations about the future and get frustrated when those expectations aren't met. When lambs were rewarded for completing a task, but the reward was less than they expected based on past experience, the lamb's heart rates went up and they moved around more, indicating emotional arousal associated with frustration or disappointment. In humans, trauma bonding is a well-known phenomenon where people who go through a traumatic experience together often form strong bonds much more quickly than they would in other circumstances. Recently, scientists discovered that the same phenomenon occurs in sheep. The researchers put sheep who had only known each other briefly through an experience that was meant to be traumatic, being herded by a sheep dog, transported on a truck, and roughly handled by a human. Then, they gave the sheep the choice of spending time with the sheep who had gone through that traumatic experience with them, 
or another sheep who they had known for the same amount of time, but who didn't go through the traumatic experience. The sheep spent more time hanging out with the sheep who had gone through the traumatic experience with them, indicating that when sheep go through a difficult experience together, it strengthens their bond just like in humans. You can see behind their eyes when they look at you. You can see, you can see their, their mind working. You can like see their soul, you can see them. One of the strongest bonds between sheep is the bond between a mother and her lamb. We saw this firsthand at Rescue Friends Sanctuary when we met Eleanor and Dolores, a mother-daughter pair. Most sheep are separated from their mothers at just two months of age and then sent to a feedlot. But luckily, Dolores and Eleanor were found on a small homestead. The homesteaders didn't realize how difficult it would be to raise animals, so the sheep were severely neglected, but luckily the human's laziness prevented them from being sent to a slaughterhouse. When Dolores and Eleanor arrived at the sanctuary, their diverse personalities began to emerge. Dolores instantly became the sanctuary mom. She made friends with all the other animals regardless of species, and she greeted all newcomers with friendliness and enthusiasm. Even Sammy, who had a hard time bonding with other animals, felt safe with Dolores. Even during shearing, which stresses sheep out, Dolores will always go first to make sure the other sheep are less afraid. Then she stays with all of them until the shearing is over. She also loves following people around. Even though she's now an adult, Eleanor still has a strong bond with her mother. They are each other's closest companions and spend a lot of time just hanging out together. Even though Eleanor is a lot more reserved than her mom. The bond between a ewe and her lamb starts on day one. Mothers and lambs recognize each other by sight, smell, and and the sound of one another's voice, and they become extremely distressed if separated from one another. If given the opportunity to do so, they will often maintain a strong bond with one another even after weaning, as evidenced by the close bond that Dolores and Eleanor share to this day. Sheep can also form cross-species bonds with humans, just like dogs and cats. Multiple studies have found that when sheep are groomed or gently pet by their favorite human, they relax their ears and their heart rates go down, which are signs associated with positive emotions. They can also tell the difference between different people, and they can recognize familiar human faces in a photograph even if they've never seen a photo of that person before. Sheep are also very perceptive of the emotions of others. Just like our emotions are reflected in our face, sheep display their emotions with the position of their ears. For example, when sheep are content, they relax their ears and don't move them very much. When they're afraid, they pin their ears back. When they're angry, they point their ears straight up. And when they're surprised, one ear points up and the other points down. Studies have shown that sheep can recognize emotions like contentment, surprise, and fear in another sheep's facial expressions. They can also tell when another sheep is in pain. Mother sheep pay more attention to their lambs when the lambs show signs of pain, which suggests the capacity for empathy. I always think it's kind of funny because people say, oh, don't be a sheep as a derogatory thing because they think they're trying to tell people, don't be a follower, don't be dumb, think for yourself. And in reality, sheep are none of those things. Sheep are loyal, sheep are loving, sheep want to protect their flock. So being a sheep is actually a great thing. Over 2 million sheep are slaughtered every year in the United States, most of them when they're less than a year old. The good news is that we don't have to keep killing animals like Sammy, Dolores, and Eleanor. We can use democratic processes like ballot initiatives to ban slaughterhouses in our communities. Not only do we not have to keep slaughtering animals, but scientists are warning that we need to significantly reduce the number of animals that we raise and kill if we want to prevent climate change while feeding the growing human population. Slaughterhouses have a negative impact on the surrounding communities. Superior Farms in Denver has violated the EPA's Clean Water Act for over three years, but the government hasn't done anything to enforce the law or protect local residents. Slaughterhouse workers suffer from high rates of PTSD, depression, and substance abuse. It's high time that we as a society evolve away from this unsustainable and cruel food production system. Pro Animal Future is working to do just that with a ballot initiative that would ban slaughterhouses in Denver that voters will get to decide on this November. Ironically, if this ballot measure passes, it would shut down the very slaughterhouse where Sammy would have been killed. If you want to help support our campaign, Please donate today, otherwise I will see you next time.